Emma Viglin says this. She goes, there, uh, there's no one I know. <laughs> when you, oh when you grow up rich in a cul-de-sac, you find, you, you find pretty words to shit on people who are actually fighting for things. When you grow up super rich in a cul-de-sac and your parents are corporate lawyers, shit lips, and you've had every advantage handed to you your whole fucking life, you never, when does she ever fight for anything? Never. Again, people who are sitting at home on their fucking millionaire asses, never doing fucking anything. Anything. Anna Kasparian sitting in her $24 million studio telling, wagging her finger at other people who are actually out there pressuring politicians. She says there's no understanding of how goals are achieved historically because these folks are being misled by Red Brown Alliance media figures sapping them of energy and cash. Progress. So what she's doing is undermining activists in the middle of a uh, big... 50 different cities for Medicare for All. Hey, why don't you ask to speak at that and go out and give your opinion? Why don't you go out there and interview some of those people and tell them about the Red Brown Alliance that you're so worried about and you have no fucking idea what you're talking about? And by the way, these are the kind of people like to quote Marx as if they're smart because they went to good colleges that got paid for by their corporate lawyer parents. But if they ever got within five feet of a worker, they'd get punched in the fucking face. Emma Viglin never got anywhere near a fucking worker. They tell her to get the fuck out of here. And go back to your cul-de-sac and your corporate lawyer parents. And tell me how good Elizabeth Warren is as she calls Bernie a sexist. Elizabeth is a family friend. Family friend. Elizabeth's a family friend.